All right, just another quick video going over a common Calvinist proof text used to teach their false doctrine of limited atonement. And again, just like the other verse, it's based off eisegesis. Calvinists will come to the Bible with a pre-commitment to their Calvinist theology, and instead of reading the scriptures as they stand, they insert their own theology, they read their own theology into a verse. Okay, And here's uh, pretty much all their verses for limited atonement are exactly that, eisegesis. And John chapter 10 verse 15 is one such verse they try to use. And just like the other one, there is nothing, anything, there's nothing explicitly about the extent of the atonement in this verse or its context. But you're going to see what they try to do with this thing. John chapter 10 verse 15. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father, and I lay my life down for the sheep. Um, how does this prove a limit to the atonement? How does this prove a limit to the extent of the atonement? I do believe there is a limit to the atonement in the in uh, in the sense of of its application, because you see, if you believe in an unlimited atonement and its extent, that's not the same thing as universalism. There is a limit to the atonement, and it's busy. The Calvinists they don't understand the difference between the extent of the atonement, which is unlimited, it's available to anybody, and the application. Not everybody chooses the free gift of salvation. But again, lay my life down for my sheep. Now what the Calvinist does, they, they do the fallacy of negative inference. They read only his sheep to the exclusion of the goats or to the exclusion of the non-elect. Um, where does the text say that? And where does the context say that? See, it's eisegesis. They're inserting their own theology into the text. And also I should probably add too, who is Christ talking to in this passage, okay? Uh, John chapter 10, verse 19 down to verse 21, he's contending with the, the Jewish Pharisees who are rejecting him. Uh, John 10, verse 19 and 21, there was a division therefore again among the Jews for these sayings, and many of them said, He hath the devil and is mad, why hear ye him? Others said, These are not the words of him that hath the devil, can a devil open the eyes of the blind? Okay? Um, so the sheep, you know, you see there that he's talking to lost Pharisees. And he's saying, I laid my life down for my sheep. Um, this is not, again, not teaching limited atonement, okay? Because you don't see only his sheep. And also notice, too, how there's division among the Jews, okay? Some of them are believing him. Others are rejecting him. And you notice how it's their own will, their own free will. I want to make a little side note there. This is in no way teaching a limited atonement. Unless you're a Calvinist and you have an eisegesis, that you have to insert your own theology into the text. So yet another Calvinist proof text that they think teaches their doctrine, but really, it's just based on eisegesis, the fallacy of negative inference. They read only his sheep into the text. Don't be deceived by Calvinism. It's a Gnostic heresy. It's all that it is. It's an attack on the gospel. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.